We're here at REIT World 2009 in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm joined by Paul Adornado and Richard Anderson, REIT analyst with BMO Capital Markets. Guys, thank you for joining us. Sure. Thanks. What uh, have been you know, some of the general impressions that you've taken away from the conference so far? I and mean, what are the big themes that people are interested in? What, mm -hmm. what ideas are out there? Well, uh, maybe I'll start off. Uh, it's certainly been you know, uh, uh, a, a world of change since last year. Uh, when uh, the capital markets were very much uh, in question and, and uh, companies' very survival was, uh, was at risk. So uh, from that perspective, we're, we're much better off. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think uh, for, for the first time, or maybe, maybe the second time in the past 10 years, we're actually uh, allowed to be fundamental analysts. We're talking about fundamentals of real estate, which happen to be bad right now in, in large part, but we'd rather be talking about that than the alternative, which as Paul mentioned, whether or not the industry will be here this time next year. We right. don't have any concerns about that right. anymore. And so, Richard, what do you say, think is going to be the uh, top theme in the REIT market in 2010? Well, I think it'll be a continuation of, of weak fundamentals and how, how to uh, distinguish between the companies that have an opportunity to, to excel relative to their peers and those on the other end that have an, may, may uh, falter relative to their peers. So again, it's an opportunity to look at fundamentals, look at where companies position themselves within property sectors, within markets, and, uh, and make calls as analysts and, and to, our, to our investor clients about you know, where they should be investing their money. And that's a refreshing change, again, from mm -hmm. past times when everything external was driving the stocks, either up or down. And now we actually can look internally into fundamentals and make, make some calls. And mm -hmm. it's an exciting time from an analyst perspective, mm -hmm. I think. And I would also say that um, you know, there was a lot of talk of a huge wave of potential acquisitions coming from uh, financially distressed sellers. I think the consensus that has been forming over the last couple of weeks and has really been crystallized here is that this wave of acquisitions is going to be much less uh, than previously expected and also probably much more extended into the future. That is, it's not going to happen within the next couple of quarters necessarily. However, having said that, you know, there definitely will be some uh, acquisitions. It's just a matter of you know, magnitude and timing. Mm -hmm. For more information and REIT news and analysis, check out REIT.com.